Also, what I want to see this time is buzz your lips, and as you're buzzing them, tuck them in there. So watch me as I use them. Okay, this time doing it again, but let me see you really buzz and you Oh, wait, wait. You have gum in your mouth, don't you? Okay, does anybody else have gum in their mouth right now? Just curious, because that definitely will be an obstacle. So, um, we're just gonna we're got trash can, gonna pick that up, and we'll put that in the trash can. That will make a difference. You'll be able to do it a lot easier. That's it. tip or the next instruction, and this means it's time to listen, so at this point, position one, if I just hold it like number one for me. All right, good. Now, to make a didgeridoo sound interesting to your listener, well, there's a lot of things you can do. It's a rhythmic instrument, and it does require you to breathe rhythmically. We're going to get into that, but first, let's make it fun. Let's make some animal sounds. As I mentioned in my show earlier, elephant sounds are really easy to make. It's a simple, sirening sound, and it sounds like this. But in order to do this properly, you kind of have to already know how to do that sirening. So let me hear everybody make a siren go, Woo! go ahead. Very good. But now, that is too easy. You have to buzz your lips. Uh, again, to play didgeridoo, you have to buzz those lips. So this time, try it, sirening, but buzz lips. Watch me, guys. Go ahead, do that. Position one. Position one, buddy. All right, now, um, let's go and try it on our didgeridoos. On the count of three, everybody, I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose, buzz your lips, and actually, like an elephant lifts its trunk up to the sky, I want you to go ahead and lift your, your throat up as you do this because it helps that vocalization. It really does. So, count of three, let's do this together. One, two, three, breathe in through your nose. Close your lips, make the siren. <laughs> So do this. All right, good. Now here's what it's gonna look and sound like on the PVC video. So let's all try it on your didgeridoos. On the count of three, make sure you, you know, and if it helps to kind of lift your neck up, do that. One, two, three, beat into your nose, fudge this. Thank you. 
such as the elephant and the dog. But now, I'd like for you to do some things with your tongue, and it's called tonguing. But we're gonna do what's called single, double, and triple tonguing. Uh, single tonguing, I'm gonna give you a formula. Just repeat after me. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Go ahead. Tick, tock, tick, tock. That's good. Now, but this time, see, that's too easy. When you're playing the didgeridoo, you don't have to use your voice during this. So let's do it quietly. Form these words in your mouth, but do not say them. So watch me first. Go ahead. Okay. Now let's do this again. Repeat after me. Tick a tock a tick a tock a. Tick a tock a tick a tock a. That would be double tonguing, but let's try this without saying it. Go. All right, good. And we'll get to triple tonguing in a second, but let's let's look look at what it sounds like to play the single. Uh, tonguing on the PVC to redo. Here's what it's gonna look and sound like. Watch me as I play it. Remember, I'm always buzzing my lips, okay? And I'm not gonna say those words tick tock. I'm going to form them. And you should be able to hear the I and the ah. The I and the tick and the ah and the tock sound, okay? <laughs> hear the tick and the talk? Yeah, you hear yeah, those word forms? Yeah. If you listen closely, you'll hear it. All right, and that has to do with the way I'm shaping my mouth. As if I'm saying tick and talk, as I'm, as I'm forming my mouth, I'm using those word sounds in this didgeridoo. So let's try tick tock, tick tock. You gotta make sure to buzz your lips and you're gonna form that word tick tock Okay, let's go ahead and try. One, two, three. We did the nose. All right, everybody, hold on a second. We're gonna do this again, but this time we're gonna do it like uniformly. So I'm gonna actually use my sticks to kind of keep a rhythm, and I'm gonna say the words tick tock, and I'm gonna have you do the word formulas on the didgeridoos, okay? So as you hear me saying these word formulas, just know that you're gonna we're doing it together in rhythm with each other. And remember, you're not actually saying those words, you're just forming them, alright? Just do it together. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick. are using our cheeks and we're puffing our cheeks out and we're pushing the air into that didgeridoo. But I want to make a point. When you're tonguing, you're not actually using your cheeks to puff out. Okay? Notice when I do tick tock tick tock on the didgeridoo that I have my really pretty much my cheeks are pretty much tight. Okay? They're not puffed out. They're I 
encourage you guys to make a note to yourself is, if you're doing something like, and I saw about half of you doing that, you're actually pushing the air out of your, between you know, your cheeks, and the tick of the top is not necessarily being uh, enunciated, it's not actually being um, heard through the didgeridoo, okay? So it's more about the tip of the tongue and what it's doing as it's forming those word formulas, tick, tock, tick, tock. So one more time, if it helps, Put your, one of your hands on your cheek. So you'll kind of remind yourself if your cheeks are puffing out a little bit to kind of like, to try to focus more on what's going on with your tongue, not so much your cheeks. All right, everybody. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick. Go ahead and play. Tick, tock, 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 tick, tock. Okay, good. How does this feel right now? Are you guys starting to understand it? Is it starting to kind of work for you a little bit? I know that it can be a challenge. Here's the thing, you know, we look at rhythmic instruments and some are real easy to play, like drums. You know, if I had a, a bunch of drums right now, you guys would be like, oh, this is easy. Right? No problem. But with the, with the didgeridoo, it's a little more focus, a little more practice, a little more time. But the reward is great because what happens when you play didgeridoo, just to let you know, um, it's kind of like exercising or jogging. If you guys, you know, after phys ed, after gym, you guys might feel real good, right? Because you've been active. Well, you're, you've gotten your heart beat up, you've been breathing a lot, okay? Well, similar with the didgeridoo, you're actually going to sort of release endorphins in your body. And that's just like a, a natural uh, relaxer, really. It relaxes your body, makes you feel good, okay? So that's a reward you get, certainly, from playing didgeridoo. All right, so let's try tikka taka tikka taka. First, though, just so that we're on the same page, uh, repeat after me. Remember, we're not going to say the word. We're just going to form it. Go without playing your didgeridoo, though. Position one for a second. Go. And now, notice the K sound. I'm going. All right, good. Now, here's what it's going to look and sound like on the didgeridoo. Watch me. Always buzzing my lips. Ticka, taka, ticka, taka. Remember. One, two, three. Read it your nose. Ticka, taka, ticka, taka, ticka, taka. the triple tonguing, but I do want you to know what it would sound like. Um, actually, just re you can do this. This isn't hard. Repeat after me. Tickada, takada, tickada, takada. Okay. Now, this is what it sounds like without saying those words. Now, what I'm adding on it is a duh sound, a D-A, like tick a da. So tick a da. All right. So here's what it sounds like through the didgeridoo. Are you starting to see how using your tongue can kind of create an additional rhythm into the didgeridoo? How the tongue can actually create a rhythm? All right. So that's one thing that I want you to notice as a didgeridoo player. Your tongue can create a lot of the rhythm. All right. So now let's move down the body a little bit more into, let's see here, this area the diaphragm, or as I call it, digiphragm. A lot of my rhythm, and a lot of didgeridoo players' rhythms, they come from this area of the body. And it's kind of like rhythmic laughing. So let's take a second, 
And let's just laugh out loud. But this, before you do, put your hand on your belly. I want you to do a deep belly laugh. Not the, from the top of the chest, <laughs> from the bottom, like over here. <laughs> when we do this, use ha and he. The word forms ha and he. So if it's ha <laughs> or he, <laughs> but I want you to do it either using ha or he. On the count of three, one, two, three, you can hear it. All right, good. All right, so, so you get an idea. Um, all right, so there are certain word formulas that we can all use, uh, some simple ones. I just want to give you ha, ha, he, ha, ha. So just repeat after me. Ha, ha, he, ha, ha. Go ahead. Ha, ha, he, ha, ha. Put your hand on your belly and do it again. And when you do the ha, make sure you feel your belly actually moving backwards, okay? And forwards. Ha, ha, he, ha, ha. Go ahead. Ha, ha, he, ha, ha. Again. Ha, ha, he, ha, ha. Now I want you to make sure to take a breath in through your nose quickly after the last ha. So watch me first. Ha, ha, he, ha, ha. Go. Ha, ha, he, ha, ha. Breathe. 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 Okay, good. Now, um, I want you guys to try it on your didgeridoo. And here's what it's gonna look and sound like. Um, again, I'm not necessarily using my voice for this. It's more of a, a form, really, a shape in my between my mouth and my, in this case, diaphragm. Okay, so it's gonna be actually let's do that together. Breathe. 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 All right, but now remember, you always be able to close your lips. So here's what it's going to look like. Watch me. Do you notice how when I do the he, it sounds a little higher pitched? That sound gets a little higher. You notice that? Watch. Because naturally that he sound, it produces a higher pitch anyway. Even the word he compared to ha is a higher pitch word. You know what I'm saying? It is. So notice these things. Words will actually create your rhythm for you. Word shapes, word forms, word formulas. Okay. So, try a while buzzing notes go. Notice the he sound. Go. Breathe. 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 All right, now, let's try it on our didgeridoos. I'm going to go ahead and say that word formula. You guys, play it on your didgeridoo while you're buzzing your lips. One, two, three. Breathe into your nose. Ha, ha, he, ha, ha. Breathe. Okay, take a moment here. Let's get our bearings. Uh, you might get lightheaded yet? Take, just take a second here. No problems. That's okay. All right, so um, with the ha, ha, he, ha, ha, um, it's, just a, it's just really important to know that that is a fundamental way of building that rhythm up. Uh, for example, let me go ahead and just add all the different sounds we created using the mouth, the tongue, the lips, the cheeks, the throat, and that belly using the diaphragm to kind of create a rhythm to sort of let you know what all of these techniques together, what they can do. understand what I'm saying, but 
it's all going to take us practice. Okay, guys? And I've been playing didgeridoo for 10 years. So another thing, when you're using this part of your body, it's perfectly natural to have your cheeks puffed out. The point I want to make, when you're tonguey, you don't necessarily have those cheeks puffed out. It's more from when you're using your diaphragm, more than when you're using your digiphragm. You're pushing that air out from here. Okay? All right. Now, um, so any questions? Let's just start, stop for a second. Any questions so far about what we've talked about? I have a question. About how many, between how many beats are you inhaling? So like, would you say it's like mm. every four or something like that? That's good. We're going to transition to circular breathing. This is a good time. When, when I play didgeridoo, when, you know, after a while, maybe after year two or three, I started to perfect what's called circular breathing. And, I, and I'm using the word perfect very loosely right now. But it does have to do with breathing in through my nose and buzzing my lips. Okay? And I'm doing it simultaneously. Every rhythm requires a different amount of air from the player. Sometimes when you play quickly, you require more air. Okay? And actually, it's, it's not a lot of air that you're breathing in at once. It's over time, little sniffs of air. So it's like... You hear me breathing into my nose? I'm doing quick sniffs of air. I'm not going... That's the point I also want to make, is that playing didgeridoo doesn't require a lot of breath from you, the players. It requires short bursts of air in through the nose and out of the mouth. For now, let's puff our cheeks out. Hold, your, hold the mouth, basically the air inside your mouth. Hold. And just hold. I'm going to continue to talk, but I want to see your cheeks puffed out now. Now, while we have our cheeks puffed out, breathe in and out of your nose, just casually. Okay, go. Okay, now, what I'd like to see you guys do as you're breathing in through your nose, when you have your cheek puffed out, I want to see you guys push the air slowly out of your mouth. Watch me do this first, okay? Do you see how I did that? I'm breathing in through my nose. Watch, I'll do it again. Do you see how I did that? I'm pushing the air out. I'm breathing in through my nose. This is the beginning of circular breathing, and as a flute player, this will make your playing even more interesting over a long period of time. Okay? So, I'll ask you a quick question. Go ahead. You can. In this case, you can. Because it's a, basically it's a tube. The dimensions of this tube are one inch by diameter, by three feet long. And since it's actually one inch on either side, you can play either side. But obviously, we're going to do the softer side for today. Sometimes with these didgeridoos over here, you cannot do that. Some of them are too big to play on the other end. Okay. Now, um, let's go ahead and um, try, just try to do this, okay? Puff your cheeks out. When you're breathing in, about, just take a couple, take a few deep breaths, just calmly, just nicely here. Just, your cheeks puffed out. Now, as you're breathing in, whenever you feel comfortable, start to push the air out of your mouth. Go. You know what this is? This is a fancy version of this. That's all it really is. Okay, it's a fancy version of this. <laughs> I'm not telling you to technically do it that way. I'm just saying we're using kind of like two parts of our body at one time and simultaneously with each other. That's all. All right, so let's do it again. I want to watch you guys try this. This is what circular breathing is. And, you know, circular breathing is like, it's, it's kind of, it's a great exercise for any person to have, whether you're a musician or not, because it's very relaxing. It can be very relaxing to do. All right, so any other questions real quick before we try this circular breathing thing? How you guys doing, huh? All right, how about, how about you want to play some more didgeridoo? You want to hear that real quick? All right. We're getting close to the end of the show and the workshop, and uh, I just want to make sure you guys have heard a few more things. Um, by the way, actually, I want to play this one, and what I want to kind of take notice of here is that sometimes when you play didgeridoo, you can do what's called an overtone or a trumpet toot. In this case, it sounds like this. And I'm going to create a rhythm, and as I'm creating the rhythm, I'm going to add the trumpet toot. And you're going to hear it in two different, uh, two different tones as I'm doing. Mm -hmm. 
through the sale of their arts and crafts, purchasing a didgeridoo from them, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't uh, hurt. It helps them, as a matter of fact. That's all I really want to say. All right, guys, I can tell you guys are full. You're full of didgeridoo now. So any other questions before I let you guys go? All right, what I need you to do before you do leave, I need you to clean your mouthpieces off one last time, so hold, hold tight.